Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be migrating um, to Vault. As you all know, Vault is, has a contract, a new contract. So it's volume two. We're going to type in everrise.finance. We're going to hit enter. And then it's going to bring us to this EverSwap that Vault is on. Right? So all you want to do is hit ever migrate and then once you go there you want to connect your wallet you can do any ERC 20 um, wallet so I'm gonna click coinbase wallet you can click metamask or whatever or you can click Binance but we're gonna be doing it for the Ethereum side So once you connect your wallet, you want to go down to Vault, and then it'll tell you how much Vault you have in your wallet, and then if you want to do 25% of your Vault and migrate that, you can. If you want to do maximum amount of Vault, you can. 50%, 75%, however much you want to migrate, just click it. Or you can use this for the percentage. Okay? So then you want to go down and you want to go to advanced. So this means that you can send your vault to a different address, a different ERC20 address. Of course, this is for the ERC20 side. Um, if you wanted to do the Binance side, you would just click the Binance wallet. Okay? So we're not going to do anything with the advanced setting. All we're going to do right now is we're going to hit enable. Okay. So we have 931 quintillion um, vault emu coins and then we're going to migrate it to the new contract address. And we're going to migrate that by pushing enable and then it's going to ask to confirm on your phone. So let me just confirm that really quickly. And then once I confirm that, it is pull up like a little fee. The fee is about $4. And then you just want to hit confirm on your phone if you're using Coinbase wallet. If you're using MetaMask wallet, then it will show you the price up here. But since I'm using the Coinbase wallet, it showed me the fee of migrating or the fee of the transaction on the phone. So I paid the fee already. And then what you want to do next is migrate. So I'm migrating all of my tokens to the new contract address. Okay. And you just want to hit the migrate button you want to confirm that on your phone so let me just go ahead and confirm that on my phone Let me see, let me do it again. Migrate. All right, so now the fee for this is about $45. So make sure you have some Ethereum in your wallet. And then it says migrate start. And then you can click on this to see exactly where it got sent, like on a blockchain, okay? So this is the hash, and um, it says success. So this is all the information um, of the migration and things like that. And then you could also do it with the previous transaction that we just did too. And you know, all the information is here. So that's pretty good. Um, so basically, you can also see right here that your wallet migration transactions, it, you know, is right here. 
So let me see. So that's pretty much all that there is. Remember, we had 931 quintillion during the migration period. Um, it goes down to it converts to 931 million. Okay, the reason why it does that is because the whole reason why they wanted to do a contract change is because they wanted to decrease the amount of tokens. However, it is still at the same value. So if you had a thousand dollars worth of Vault Inu, it would still be worth a thousand dollars. The only thing that's changing is the amount of zeros. So instead of it having septillion tokens of max supply, they narrowed it down. So that's why you're seeing that you only have millions or you know hundreds of thousands or billions instead of your trillions, quadrillions and all that stuff, okay? So I hope that helped you. Um you didn't lose a lot of money or any money. Only thing that it did was the transaction fees that's the only thing that you pay for during this migration so you still have the same value of tokens okay so i hope that helped if you have any questions or concerns please let me know obviously check your coinbase wallet your metamask wallet to see if there's um anything else that you need to do please let me know down below if you think of anything else. Um, thank you.